I'm just gonna like try to be friends with everyone and then let them get to know me and then open myself up. In doing that, I got to really know um, Big Ange and Neil, like they're so funny. But I could say Scott and Jackie's like my favorite couple. You know, cause when I first think of Janice Dickinson, I think of someone that's like loud and like, you know, really like out there, you know. And when I met her, she seemed really chill and really cool. She, when she speaks to you, like she speaks directly like to you in your head. It's like she gets in your head, I find that outgoing heterosexual cisgender person is usually pretty comfortable, you know? So that's why I kind of clicked with her. It was funny because I, I knew that Joe didn't know, but when I was explaining my story to the doctors, I was trying to not look at Joe while we were filming. So then watching it back and seeing his reaction, he was totally like in shock and totally surprised and thrown off. Once we broke the ice, I feel like he got really comfortable. Like in the episodes to come, we had many conversations about like the ignorance in language and misgendering and mixing up like gay and trans. But that day he was speaking to Kaylin and he said that he would like, he wanted to tap this, you know? And I was like, wait a minute, what? But in the same conversation, he says, does that make Adrian gay because he's with Carmen who's trans? And in my mind, I'm like, well, you just told me that you were attracted to me at one point. So does that make you gay, Joe? Like, I don't think so. Being with a transgender woman does not make you gay. You know, it just means that you're attracted to women. I feel like a lot of the times in hip hop, in that world, in that realm, you know, people are still very like old fashioned in their way of thinking, you know, and they're very like black and white and they don't understand the broad spectrum that is the LGBT community, especially the transgender umbrella. There's so many different kinds.